اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session, we are going to look into how to use ChatGPT and SPSS for regression analysis. Now, let's assume I've been asked to assess the impact of one variable on the other variable, and I do not know what test should I perform. So let's ask ChatGPT, but let's say my supervisor told me that you have to use SPSS, or my friends told me that SPSS is the tool that you use for statistical analysis. So let's ask ChatGPT, what is the test that I can run to assess the impact of one variable on another using SPSS? Let's see what we get. So what we have to do is we have to run a regression analysis. How do we run regression analysis? So this is how these are the steps that we are going to run a regression analysis. So regression analysis helps determine the relationship between a dependent variable and one or more independent variables. It allows you to examine how changes in the independent variable or variables are associated with the changes in the dependent variable. Now I've got my data here, the composite variables. Now again, let's say these are the seven items that I used to measure servant leadership. So what I did was I took the mean of these seven items and got one single score for servant leadership for each of the respondents. And this is what I did for all the other constructs in my, my study that were measured using multiple items. Now to do so, what you need to do is let's simply go to transform compute variable and let's say SL put mean here and then put SL1, SL2, SL3, SL4, SL5, SL6, SL7. Now this will give you the mean score for servant leadership. Let's say, let me call it SLL for now. Just press OK. So what's the problem? Have a look. There's a dollar sign here. Press OK. And now you've got a variable here, SLL, which you just created. Go towards the end. Here it is. The servant leadership score for each of the respondents on those seven items, the average of it. Now, actually, I don't need it. Let me delete it from here now. Okay. Similarly, I got for life satisfaction, job satisfaction, and other variables in my study. So how do I run it? So I have to go to analyze and then select regression and choose appropriate regression. Now, in this case, what I'm going to do is I've got one IB, one DB, and it is called simple linear regression. So analyze regression linear. I've got continuous independent and continuous dependent variable. Click linear. Now my dependent variable is life satisfaction. So I'll put it in here. My independent variable is servant leadership. I'll put it in here. I'm not going to do anything else. I'm just going to press enter for now. Now here are my results. Now I do not know what it means. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT for it. So let's say copy. I got the following results from SPSS. Can you explain them and present them in APA style. So following is the model summary. Here it is, the model summary. Go up and tell ChatGPT my independent variable was servant leadership. Whereas the dependent variable was life satisfaction. Full stop. Here is your model summary. Now let's give the other results. Following is the ANOVA table. Let's bombard ChatGPT with data and results. Let's see what we get. Following is 
the coefficient table and simply press enter on this now the results from regression analysis in SPSS can be presented in APA style as follows now let's see what we get now let's look at this a regression analysis was conducted to examine the impact of summit leadership on life satisfaction. The model summary revealed that the regression model is on the regression model accounted for a significant proportion of the variance in life satisfaction. Now again, there are very technical details in this paragraph here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all this here and bring it into my Word document. So that I have got all these details. So I do not know what R square is. I do not know what model summary is. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to give me some more detail. Can you explain what is a model summary? What is R square? What is adjusted R square? What is F statistics and what is P value and standard error? So you ask chat GPT, what are these things? I do not know. Let's let's see what we get. Now here are the explanations. So the model summary provides an overview of how well the regression model fits the data. It includes multiple correlation coefficient R. The coefficient of determination R square and coefficient of determination will tell you how much variance in the DV is being explained by the IV. Now each of these are explained here. You can further probe chat GPT to give you more detail if you do not understand anything. Now this is how you can use chat GPT to learn new concepts. Do not just copy and paste the results. That will be detrimental to your research. That will be detrimental and it will dampen your research skills. Now use it as, as a guide, as a teacher sometimes, as an assistant in your research. Now I've got the details here. Now I read this. I may have some more questions. I'll ask ChatGPT if I do not understand something. I'll ask ChatGPT if my understanding is right or not. So you put in your understanding and ask ChatGPT if you have interpreted it correctly or not. Now let's say further, I've got the second table here, the ANOVA table. So let's ask ChatGPT, what does ANOVA table mean? what is meant by the ANOVA table and what does it do? Now, it, the sources of variations are summarized. It provides information or contribution of different components of the model. So this is slightly de detailed. So this is your ANOVA detail. Similarly, you can ask for coefficient table as well or the details with regards to the coefficients as well as to what they mean now once all of this is done let's ask regression analysis provides a number of different statistics however can you okay let's say can you recommend which ones shall I report when reporting a regression analysis in APA style? So it gives you so many statistics. Now, not every statistic must be reported. So you ask chat GPT, which ones shall I report? Here it is. So you report model summary, the R, the R square, adjusted R square, and over table F statistics. So from model summary, you are going to report this. From an over table, you are going to report this. From coefficient table, you are going to report these. Can you give me a sample table in for the following regression results? So let's ask ChatGPT to give us the details. Here it is. Copy and let's say paste it 
and let's see what we get. So here is the table format. Now let's ask it for some more detail maybe. Then you format the table in rows and column. To be exported to Excel. Let's see what we get. So here is the table with the necessary details the beta standard error, so this here is your standardized beta and this is your unstandardized beta. Now the R square and all those are details are not in there but you can add more rows and just report R square like that. Let's say or ask chat GPT can you also put in the R and R square in the table and do not give me the code rather write it write it in plain text or rows and and column format let's see what we get here it is but still giving in the form of code Here it is. So this is how you can just make this table up with R, R square, adjusted R square, F statistics, P, P value for from this overall ANOVA table and then each of your coefficient. Now if you've got multiple predictors, similarly you can do the same operation using ChatGPT. So this is how you can use ChatGPT with regression analysis. Not only asking ChatGPT to report regression for you or give you the interpretation in APS style, but using it to better understand what regression means, how it should be conducted, when it should be conducted. Thank you very much.